Hi everyone, I'm going to continue my series on Grandmaster Miniatures now with Mikhail Tal against John van der Weel, which was played in the Moscow Winter Zonal of 1982 and was a great game from Tal, who was a world champion and well known for his sacrificial attacks and brilliant tactics. What this game really shows though is that he had great depth of thought as well, as you'll see. It began with c4, the English opening, and then e6, knight c3, knight f6, knight f3, b6, e4, bishop b7, and bishop d3, protecting this pawn and also preparing to move the bishop to c2 and playing d4, creating a strong center, so black has to take action immediately to do something about that. And he does that with c5. And Tal castled, and then knight c6, e5, knight g4, bishop e4, and queen c8. Which is an unusual move. Theory nowadays prefers f5, e takes f6, knight takes f6, bishop takes c6, bishop takes c6, d4, bishop takes f3, queen takes f3, c takes d4, and knight b5. With just an edge for white, nothing too serious. Anyway, after uh, c8, Tal played d3, which is a pawn sacrifice leaving this pawn here under attack from the two knights, it's only defended once and Van der Weel accepted this but it's a risky continuation the safer move would be f5 and then e takes f6, knight takes f6, bishop f4, bishop b7, knight b5 and castling and it's pretty equal here, neither side has an obvious advantage but black decided to take the pawn and after knight takes e5, knight takes e5, f4, gaining tempo on the knight and starting to generate a pretty dangerous attack, the black king is still far from safety. Black played knight c6, which is uh, again dangerous. The safer continuation was bishop takes e4, knight takes e4, knight c6, f5, bishop e7. And here, white still has attacking chances, but there's no. Uh, clear line to go for. Black should be able to <coughs> defend effectively and be fine. But he didn't play that, he played knight c6. And after f5, g6 is the best move. Uh, uh, preparing to fiend shadow the bishop and castle to safety. And other options here, like say for example the casual bishop e7 is uh, not good after queen g4, bishop f6, knight b5, castling, f takes e6, f takes e6, queen h3 with immediate threats on h7. And black has to be careful about that. If he plays h6, then bishop takes h6 is very strong. After g takes h6, queen takes h6, rook f7, rook takes f6, and white should win easily. <coughs> So after queen h3, g6 would be the right move. And then uh, white has bishop h6, to which the best reply is bishop g7, bishop takes g7, king takes g7, knight d6, queen c7, knight f7, which looks strange, but it's the strongest continuation for white. After the rook takes, and the rook takes back, and the king takes, and queen takes h7, is again giving white a good advantage. Another possibility instead of g6 was knight d4 but then white could have played queen h5 and after bishop takes e4 and knight takes e4 e takes f5, bishop g5 h6, rook a1 and knight e6 the uh, knight's immune here because of the mate threat uh, bishop h4, g6 Knight to f6 check, king d8, knight d5 check from the bishop, king e8 and queen f3. White would have very good attacking chances. The king's still in the middle and he's uh, in danger there. So, g6 was the correct decision. And Tal played bishop g5. Then came g takes f5 and bishop takes f5 offering the bishop but it's not wise to accept it for example e takes f5 queen e2 check knight e7 rook a1 rook g8 bishop takes e7 and then rook takes g2 has to be played early to avoid the threats on the e-file 
and after queen takes g2, bishop takes g2, bishop h4, check, bishop e4, knight takes e4, f takes e4, rook takes e4, check, bishop e7, rook takes e7, check, king d8, rook f takes f7, check, oh sorry it's not check, rook f takes f7, king c7, bishop to g3, check, and uh, white is winning now already, whatever black does, if he plays king b7, then rook takes d7, check, king a6, and a3, intending b4 and black's pieces will be completely tied down now and white would have a clear advantage the two rooks and the bishop being stronger than the passive queen and rook instead of uh, king b7 after the check on g3 there's also king c6 but after rook takes h7 a5 and h4 this pawn is unstoppable and would decide the game so after uh, bishop takes f5, bishop e7 was tried. And then Tal played the decisive queen h5. And the bishop's immune again, which is what I was talking about. It really shows Tal's depth of thinking. Like, for example, e takes f5, rook a1, d6, and knight d5. And it's uh, decisive, it would win easily. So after bishop takes g5, queen takes g5, knight e7, again the bishop is immune. After e takes f5, rook a1, check, king f8, queen h6, check, king g8, and it's maiden 6. After knight d5, f6, knight takes f6, check, king f7, knight h5, queen f8, rook takes f5, check, king g8, rook g5, check, queen g7, and queen takes g7, mate. So, knight e7. And then bishop e4. Bishop takes e4. Knight takes e4. Queen c6. And here on the 19th move, Tal decided the game in one move. If you want to see if you can find it, then uh, stop the video now. What he played was rook takes f7. And here black's in serious trouble. His best option is to castle queenside and lose the knight. Where uh, white will be a piece up and will easily be able to gradually wear black down but he didn't go for that he accepted the sacrifice with the king takes f7 and now white is clearly winning with queen f6 check king g8 queen takes e7 rook f8 and after rook f1 black resigned because he has no sound defense now for example uh, if rook takes f1 then king takes f1 and the threat is on f6 with mate the only way that black can stop this is by playing e5 and after knight f6 t check taking with the queen and the queen will recapture and it'll be all over in this situation after rook f8 and rook f1 he's pretty much obliged to take here if he doesn't then it's, uh, it's going to be mate he has to find some way to defend against it, and again the knight is going to go to f6, and it's just all over. Fritz gives a material advantage of 6 points. So it was a brilliant game from Tal. I hope you enjoyed it. Please leave any comments and thoughts. Thanks very much.